solve by completing the square. We begin by adding 27 to both sides. That will leave us with x squared minus 2x equals 27. Next, we determine the value that completes the square. That value can be gotten from the formula b over 2 squared when the leading coefficient is 1. In this case, b is equal to negative 2. So we have negative 2 over 2 squared equals negative 1 squared, which equals 1. This is the value that will complete the square. We add that value to both sides of the equation. And then factor. We can see after adding 1 to both sides, the left side will be a perfect square. x squared factors x times x. 1 factors as 1 times 1, and adds up to negative 2 if they're both negative. So we can write x minus 1 times x minus 1. Notice that's a perfect square trinomial. Equals 28. So in other words, we have x minus 1 squared equals 28 which we can solve by extracting the roots. Let's apply the square root property to both sides. In other words, take the square root of both sides. Don't forget the plus or minus. We have x minus 1 equals plus or minus the square root of 28. Now 28 is 4 times 7, so we can simplify that and write x minus 1 equals plus or minus 2 times the square root of 7. And then finally, adding 1 to both sides, we have then x equals 1 plus or minus 2 times the square root of 7. These are the two solutions to the original equation gotten after we solved by completing the square.